The original plan was to fly to Waco, Texas, get airborne and stay on that blue line, which is the zone of totality. And this would happen on April 8th, and I need to be in airborne at 1.38 p.m. in the zone of totality. However, there's a storm coming in from Pacific across Mexico all the way to Buffalo, New York. You might be treated to totality or you may not even see the sun, so you want to be able to move quickly. Therefore, my plans of going to Waco, Texas were dropped and now I'm going to Carbondale, Illinois or Cape Girardeau, Missouri. I need to be on this purple line, which is the zone of totality, close to Paducah, Kentucky, which is where you don't see the clouds. So I lined up three airports, Carbondale, Illinois, or Cape Girardeau, Missouri, or Corning, Arkansas, all within one hour striking distance, depending upon weather. And then I also made a waypoint. This is where I want to be when totality happens, right over River Mississippi. I started off from St. Louis along Missouri River because I wanted to see the confluence of Missouri with Mississippi. The one closer to me is Missouri and the farther away is Mississippi. And that side of Mississippi is Illinois and this side is the state of Missouri. And now you're beginning to see the mixing of the waters. Not quite as dramatic as you would see in the Amazon. Missouri on the left, Mississippi on the right. And from this point on, it will be called Mississippi River. After I crossed St. Louis, headed southbound toward my airport, Carbondale, lots of traffic, planes everywhere. It reminded me of scene from Independence Day. Sometimes traffic was so close, this plane is only a thousand feet above me, only one mile behind me. I could not see him. Look at the road traffic. Everyone is driving one way to Carbondale, Illinois for the eclipse. Carbondale Airport was full, so I went to Pinckneyville Airport instead to refuel. This airport already had some airplanes, even though it's a small field. After refueling, saying goodbye to this friend from Wisconsin, and to this friend from Sacramento who came on his Cessna Citation 5, I gave him my tripod because he needed it more than me. And then just about when I was leaving, another Cessna Citation came from Canton, Ohio. This is a blue Skyhawk from Alabama, family relaxing from Wisconsin. And this low-wing single-engine white airplane is from San Francis, Kansas, the one with the parachute. Now I'm headed in a southwesterly direction in the line of eclipse. It should be coming my way, but I don't see any signs of it. The sun is already 80% covered, but obviously I can't see. There is no heat in the sun. The light is still there. I guess the temperature drop must be the reason why these geese have decided to head back into their sleeping quarters. Carbondale Airport and Cape Girardeau both were closed for half hour because of the eclipse. This is the first time the horizon has disappeared. It seems maybe there is rain going on or maybe even a squall line like here. The eclipse is approaching me at 1700 miles per hour. The moon shadow is moving toward me at 1600 miles per hour and I am going into the eclipse moon shadow at 100 miles per hour. The moon shadow cast on Earth is 115, 115 miles wide, so you might not be able to see your hand or read anything in front of you 
and the skies above might be dark, but the horizon always has some light. Cape Girardeau traffic, Skyhawk 709 or Mike Whiskey. Nine or Mike Whiskey Tower. Nine or Mike Whiskey is at, uh, toward your airport, uh, currently at 3000. I will stay outside or above Delta. 709, Mike Whiskey, uh, Roger. Altimeter on the field, 2996. 29 or 9 or 6. In just 10 more seconds, it will all be over. You look back, Eclipse is going away from you, Moon Shadow running away, and shadows are being formed, Eclipse is over, look at the sun now. Time to go home, make a right turn. Maybe I can go and catch that Eclipse over Indiana. Cape Girardeau Airport. As soon as I made a right turn, I saw everybody was going in the same direction. Everybody leaving. Mass exodus. This airplane is on my left wing tip, less than half mile, a thousand feet above me. Next eclipse is going to be coast to coast over United States once again, also Brazil. Come and see me again.